President. This is Admiral Thompson. And Mr. Cosgrove. It's a pleasure to be here today. I was very happy to sponsor you for your membership in the press club. We should come over and tell those guys that we've been here. Thank you. Thank you very much. Mr. President, thank you. We know that you have a very busy schedule and you can't be with us next Tuesday, which is the 213th birthday of the Navy. Also, it's a day we're going to dedicate the U.S. Navy Memorial. And the enduring piece of statuary at the memorial will be the Throne Sailor. And we'd like to present this to you. This is the first miniature replica of the Lone Sailor. Which in, in reality, he's seven feet tall in bronze. Uh, he symbolizes all those who have ever served in the Navy for the last 213 years. Uh, Admiral to uh, seaman, male, female, no matter what color. But he is, this is Mr. Navy, as far as the uh, uh, Navy Memorial is concerned. Well, I am very proud to, to have this, and uh, I'm sorry too for many reasons that I can't be there. I like going any place where something's older than I am. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, for this room, thank, oh, thank you very much. Mr. President, we uh, <coughs> hope that sometime you can down and see this man oh. standing tall with the map of the world all around. The map of the world is made, uh, it's a replica of the world map made to, uh, to scale. And he'll be standing tall right down there at archives looking towards the Capitol. And uh, in the meantime, you, he'll keep you company here. Well, Good. I'm very pleased proud to have this. I thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you for the time uh, to be here with us and to start the participation of the Navy weekend. We have a whole weekend for dedicating the statue and to celebrate the Navy's birthday on the 13th. Well, thank that's thank you again. Great. All right. Yes, and we're indebted to you for the support of the Navy for the last six yeah. years plus. I say very proud and thank you very much. Thanks for having me, sir. I noticed his knuckles were very white, that young sailor, when he was, yes, it's 40 pounds. <laughs> Here. Jeez, it feels like it's more than 40 pounds. <laughs> it feels like it's 80 pounds. I'll accept that. You're just in. Just in. Back. Right back again. I'm going to put some miles on <laughs> Well, Mr. Mayor. Hello, Mr. President. Hello there. Uh, how are you? This is my wife, Bob. Good to see you. You, get a you want to be in the middle. Okay. It's prettier that way. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. And I congratulate you. Well, thank you. The president of the organization and uh, twice mayor. Yes. And also the first Republican to ever get in association. Well, I think uh, we've, got, we've got a great opportunity. This uh, election, and I want to do as much as I can to support you. Oh, thank you. I'm quite proud of you, and you're a great hero of mine. Thank you. I'm just grateful. Yes, you did. All right. And thank you again for the seniors. I'm going to bring you greetings from the seniors to the couple of women couples. Well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
President. Yes. Yeah, great. Hi. 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 Have you. We appreciate your economic policies and free enterprises. These things are important to us in Mississippi. Thank you. My wife sent you her love. Well, give her my. Please tell me, how's it looking? Oh, it's picking up. We're moving along. Yeah, we really are. Right. Things are going well. Well, that's great. We got some momentum. Well, I think we ought to go over and have a bank if we're doing business here at the desk. Thank you, sir. I'd enjoy take, that. Take this one out. This is the first break I've had in a campaign in a long time. <laughs> I go back tonight. You're looking wet. You're awfully popular in Mississippi. Everywhere I go. Always But it really true. You certainly are indeed. We think so much of you down there. Your leadership. I hope I can be the kind of governor that you've been a president. Go ahead. I I'm sure you have. And I have a warm spot with President, but I don't anticipate being one in time. So. I believe it's in good hands. Thank you. It's a grand opportunity for me. I appreciate it very much. We work here. We work here. I have another meeting tonight. I've had two campaigns meetings today. Our economy is flat in Mississippi. I appreciate the fact that we are trying to hold the line. I'm trying to hold the line on taxes. We're making it a pocketbook issue now. We're running against a local Democrat. Good. You know, I had a little thing on taxes. I didn't know that. But I listened to their presidential candidates. And all of them going on about the deficit in taxes. Our revenues, every time they reduce the tax rates, the revenues overall go up. Yeah. Because the economy is sure. Sure. And every tax increase usually results uh, in, a, in a loss in revenues. Well, we haven't elected a businessman in 36 years in Mississippi, and that may be the last good governor we've had, so it's time. Okay. Well, it's good to be with you. I see you have a friend here. I do indeed. Bill Walker, Mr. Yeah. President. President, I'm glad to meet you again. I mentioned the Lexington yes. a couple of years ago. Thank Appreciate you. what you're doing. Thanks, around him and everything. Thank you. I like that. that very much. Sir, right here. Yeah. If you had many friends like Bill, if I had many friends like Bill Walker, I might have had this one long ago. Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> have to get him around. Move him around. He did two talks this morning here, and now we do He's another one tonight. Yeah. So you get him moving. And all he asks is good government. Now you can't beat that, can you? Nope. Just a solid citizen, a businessman who loves this country, loves Mississippi. My wife asked me to give you a note. You can read it later. Nancy might explain it to you. You might not understand. It. Okay. We left our wives at home, and they resented it somewhat, but they're good she sports. She put some flowers in her motel, and Nancy came to Jackson a few years ago, and you wrote her a letter and thanked her. And so this morning, my wife wanted to say thanks to you. Okay. All right. We appreciate Thank you so much for your time. We appreciate you. God bless you. We're done. We're done. Thank you, sir. Last time anybody has to come in. Gentlemen, this is the Oval Office, and in here you'll find oh, <laughs> you're, you're wearing a pathway. <laughs> Golly, you haven't slowed down a bit. <laughs> candidate in a special election that you were kind enough to yes. agree, and he won. Terry's yeah. going to win, too, in Tennessee. Yeah. Let's do that. Okay. Now, why don't you and I go over and look as if we're okay? Doing some business already. Yes, I do. Yes, yeah. 
Thank you. Thanks, Mr. President. Thank you. Thanks, Mr. President. Thank you. 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 Thank